discuss about events in sexual reproduction. Let's see what are the things that happens in sexual reproduction. The events of sexual reproduction can be broadly categorized into three. Number one, pre-fertilization events. Pre-fertilization events. Number two, fertilization events. fertilization events and the last part is called post fertilization events post fertilization post fertilization events now each of these three major part you will be getting some sub part like pre-fertilization events again can be divided into two small small part like gametogenesis gametogenesis and gamete transfer gamete transfer transfer likewise fertilization events also can be categorized into two sub part like internal fertilization internal fertilization and external fertilization external external fertilization post fertilization events is also can be divided into two sub part the first one is called formation of zygote that means zygote formation zygote formation and embryogenesis Embryogenesis. Embryogenesis is the process by which embryo formation takes place. Now, let's focus on point number one that means pre fertilization events. As you have already come to know that pre fertilization events, events, can, events can be categorized into two one is called gametogenesis and the other one is called gamete transfer. Let's focus on the gametogenesis. Gametogenesis is nothing but the process of formation of gametes. Maybe you have already come to know in your class 11 biology. <coughs> Let's focus on gametogenesis. As I was saying, gametogenesis is the process by which gamete formation takes place. Gamete formation takes place by the process called gametogenesis. Gamete formation and the gamete is again of two types. Gametes are of gametes are of two types. Two types. One is called homogametes and the another one is called heterogametes. Gametes. Now see, homogametes can also be termed as isogametes. Isogametes or homogametes are similar in structure. Similar in case of structure. That is homogametes cannot be divided into male and female as both the gametes are alike cannot be 
cannot be distinct into male and female. Male and female. But heterogametes are, you see, if we give an example of homogametes, we will be getting a kind of gametes that look like this. Both the gametes looks alike. But in case of heterogametes, you see, can be divided into can be divided or distinguished distinguished into male and female male and female if we give example in case of Human being will be getting different types of gametes. As you know, the male gametes, which is known as sperms, looks like this. While the female gametes almost circular, as you have already come to know. So, gametes are as usually of two types. One is called homogametes, and another one is called heterogametes. Homogametes are those gametes which are which are alike, that means the male gametes and the female gametes look same. But female gametes, that is in case of heterogametes, the gametes can be distinct. That means the male and female gametes have different size and structure. And we have given example of human being. In case of human being, we have seen the male gametes, which is known as sperm, looks like a rod. But in case of female gametes, it is almost circular, which is known as X or ovum. Basically, X. And this is sperm. Now, let's move on to sexuality in organisms, which is very important in case of. Events in sexual reproduction, sexuality, sexuality in organisms. Organisms, based on the sexuality, organisms can be divided into two, what is called unisexual organisms. Unisexual organisms and uh, another one is called bisexual organisms. Bisexual organisms. Now you see, unisexual organisms are those organisms which produces the sex structure, that means the sexual organs develops in different or distinct individuals. Develops. Male and female structure, male and female structures in different individuals, different individuals, but in case of bisexual organisms, the male and female, male and Female structures, structures develops into develops in develop in the same individual. If we need to give example, we can give example as coconut. Coconut plant or Paisam Satagon. Paisam Satagon is an example of bisexual plant. But in case of unisexual, we can 
give example as LD. If we need to specify the species, we can mention the name of the yellow fora. And if we need to give the example of unisexual animal, animal we can mention the name of Ocros. Ocros. In case of bisexual, we can mention the spons, name of spons. Some other examples. We'll be getting lots of examples if we need to focus on the example of different unisexual and bisexual organisms. Now, let's move on to the second stage of pre-fertilization events, which is known as transfer of gametes. Transfer of gametes. As we know, for the sexual reproduction take place, the male and female reproductive units must come into close contact. For which different organisms, that means in case of different organisms, we have we may we may found different process of this conjugation or transfer of gametes. Sorry, transfer of gametes. You see, in case of simple plants, simple plants or simple organisms, organisms we may found that both the male and male and female gametes are motile. Female gametes. are motile. Motile means they can move. Can move from one place to another. Can move from one place to another. But in case of higher organisms, we may have found that only the male In case of higher organisms, only the male gametes are motile. Male gametes are motile. That means the male gametes can move from one place to another. The female gametes remain in the same place. You see, now we have found the characteristic features of male and female gametes in different organisms. Now we need to know how transfer takes place. You see, in case of simple organisms, in case of simple organisms, the male gametes, male gametes transfer to the female gametes, female gametes, and as you know, the female gametes are usually in the ovule of the, if we talk about the higher plants, the female gametes are in the, inside the ovule. Ovule and you know ovule is present in, present in ovary, that means inside the ovary. The transfer of male gametes usually takes place in case of simple organisms by means of water water, but in case of seed bearing plants, seed bearing, seed bearing plants, the male gametes, which develops inside anther, transport the ovule or egg cell by means of air or water by means of air or 
water or it may also transfer from mill it may also transfer by means of other organisms like insects or small birds etc express by means of to show pollen grains by means of air or water inside pollen grains pollen grains the many gametes remain this is how gamete transfer takes place i am repeating it once more for your better understanding in case of simple organisms the male and female gametes develops develops and they are usually both the male and female gametes are motile and they usually transfer transfer by means of water but in case of seed bearing plants the male gametes along with pollen grain transfer to the ovule by means of air or water the next two parts that means the events of post fertilization and fertilization events will be covered in next video